Hi guys and welcome back to my channel and welcome back to my messy ass bedroom. I really don't have any excuses besides um, I don't make my bed and then you know my bed is pretty much like where I throw all my clothes when I'm not wearing them. <laughs> yeah. So uh, this is just, this is real life. That's all I can really say. Okay so in this video I'm going to show you some wigs. Now I said in a previous video that I had bought some wigs from Ally Pearl from their Amazon store, not from their AliExpress store or their main store. So that's what I'm going to be showing you in this video. Now one of them is the Oreo style. Um, I already bleached it, or when I say when I say that I bleached it, I mean I bleached the knots. So it's not technically in its an original form, but I have another wig that I purchased from Ally Pearl that I haven't even unboxed yet. So um, we're going to be doing that in this video. Okay, so let's do the Oreo wig first. Now, um, this is a 20 inch uh, 5x5 HD lace closure wig. And this is the construction on the inside. Now, it did have some combs right here, but I took those out. Um, and then it's got the straps to tighten the wig. And it did come with an elastic band. I put that somewhere. Um, so you can sew it on the wig so it adheres to your head better. Now, I have my doubts on whether this is actually HD lace, but it's pretty good lace. Um, it is super thin, and let me show, well, first let me show you the knots. So I did bleach the knots, I lightly bleached them. So the knots were not bleached when I received this wig. And uh, yeah, I was talking about the lace. So let me show you. I could put a wig cap on real quick. It goes in my head super easily. You guys know I have a bigger head. But do you see what I mean when I say like the lace is not HD. It is transparent. But that's some good transparent lace. That's some pretty good lace. Oh, and this wig was less than $100. There's the price right there. And then two day shipping, girl, get out of here. Get out of here. So the wig was soft when I pulled it out of the package. Of course I've washed it. And this is the natural texture of the wig. It's not completely bone straight, which I can appreciate. Um, density wise, it's pretty natural density. It feels about like a 150, maybe a 180, more on the 150 side. Um, so if you are the kind of person that likes big hair, you're going to want to add tracks to this. But um, I think this looks pretty good. It's got a pretty nice density. It's not thin on the edges at, or on the ends at all. It's pretty thick all the way through. But not overly thick to where it looks, you know, like a wig. So it did come with a middle part, but it wasn't a plucked middle part. So you can, you know, change this however you want. And like I said, it is a it is a five by five lace closure wig. So it gives you uh, more than a four by four for your parting space. You guys know I tend to make my own wigs, but I don't have the same amount of time that I used to. Like, lady is in preschool. I have switched jobs. I've got I've got life going on, so <clears throat> I don't have the same amount of time I did. Um, in past years to get my hair together. So you're probably going to see me um, wearing a lot of pre-made wigs. I do have some hair still in my collection that I need to use, but um, because I needed something quick for the start of wig season, I decided to buy some hair. And Allie Pearl is a pretty good company. Like I see a lot of their ads. I see a lot of reviews. Now, you know, some of these companies are hit and miss, but um, this is pretty good. This is pretty good. And like I said, it's the Oreo trend. I'm like a year behind, you guys. Like, this was a trend like last year, the year before, but I don't care. If you guys remember, I did I did a couple of like Cruella looking wigs, which I'm going to break out for this season too. But um, for right now, I just have, I just have uh, this wig and the other wig that I'm going to show you. But I can't keep my hands out of this hair. Um, there's no shedding 
and the ends feel nice and moisturized. I did not put any conditioner on this wig. I just did a clarifying shampoo after I bleached the knots. And so what I've been really in, been really into lately are extreme side parts, which is another reason I like closure wigs. So since I have a big head, six by six closures work a little bit better for me. They give the most realistic look, but I can work with this. I can work with this. And it did come a little bit pre-plucked, but of course I'm going to go in and work my own little magic. But do you guys see the vision? If I have a, if I have a line right here, like an L-shaped part or something, can you guys, can you guys see the vision? Or something like that. Or I might just wear it. I might just wear it as a middle part. Like, who knows? Who knows? But the point is, this is an easy throw it on and go out the door kind of wig. I mean, right now it looks like a Halloween wig. But after I put some curls in it, give it some shape with layers and stuff like that, this is going to be a bomb ass wig. So, yeah. So I loved that Oreo wig so much when I tried it on that I immediately went back to Amazon, which by the way, the links will be down below. Um, I immediately went back to Amazon and purchased another wig. So this one I have not um, unboxed and it did come in this pink bag. Like the, um, Al the other one came in this pink bag too. They're two different kinds of bags. This one doesn't have the Alley Pearl on it and it has these cute little tassels. This one does have the Alley Pearl, but no tassels, no big deal. I'm just happy they put it in cute little bags. So I'm also going to be able to show you what the Oreo wig came with, since you know I didn't film that unboxing. So you get some wig caps. You get a little card saying thank you for your purchase. Follow us and leave us a review. You get some hair care tips. And they also give you some um, products that they think would work really well with their hair. And the Oreo wig, like I said, it came with a um, elastic band. This one doesn't seem like it did, but it's no big deal because I have my own elastic anyway. So this is another 20 inch five by five and I will leave the price of this wig right here along with the specs oh and I didn't mention like um so that Oreo wig is washed but when the hair does come out of the plastic it kind of smells plasticky like not like a terrible smell but you can tell that it's been in the plastic for a minute but the hair itself doesn't uh, feel like plastic and the knots bleached uh, pretty well. Like I don't, I leave my bleach on for about 30 minutes and I use a 20 volume developer. So I don't like get them super, super light because the longer you process your knots, the weaker the bond is, which means your closure will shed quicker. And I do a lot of manipulation on my wig, so I want to make them last. So the packaging for this is really nice. It's packaged really nicely. And this is a honey blonde wig. Now on camera it's kind of looking 613, but if I bring it back a little bit, you can see that it's that it's kind of like this honey blonde, which is gorgeous. It doesn't have a root, so I'm gonna have to put a root on it. I will I don't have to put a root on it, but I like I like roots. And just like the Oreo wig, it's not uh, thick. Well, this one is a little bit thinner toward the bottom. It's not. It's not as. It's not as thick as the Oreo wig looks. However, darker hair does tend to look thicker than lighter colored hair, but um, it doesn't appear to be as thick as the Oreo colored hair. And the bottoms do seem a little stringier, but of course this has been processed. Like the entire wig has been processed whereas 
The Oreo wig only some pieces have been processed. This is what the construction looks like on the inside. Same with the Oreo wig. I'm going to remove these combs. Five by five, once again, they advertise this as an HD lace closure. I don't think it's HD, but it's pretty good lace. It's pretty good lace. Um, this density feels, like I said, like a 150 or so, which, you know, for me is fine, but if you like thicker hair, you're going to want to add tracks. Let's pop this bad boy on. Yeah. Now this one does look a little bit Barbie-ish. Like you can see where they pre-plucked it. And the knots don't need to be bleached. I mean, they are dark, but since this is blonde hair, it's not like black. So you could just use some makeup on this. So the construction is the same as the Oreo wig. However, um, I would say the pre-plucking, they plucked it a little bit more than the Oreo wig. So I'm probably not going to do any plucking on this. And um, I think when I add the um, dark roots, this is going to look a lot better. Because right now it looks kind of, it looks kind of Barbie-ish. It looks like I got this from a costume, a costume place. It's a better look at the knots right there. They're not too bad. Like I said, you can add some makeup to that and not have to worry about bleaching it. You're going to really have to mold this down. <laughs> yeah, so straight out of the box, no, it's not wearable. You're going to have to do some, you're going to have to do some finessing with this. So I'm going to add a dark root. And then probably put some curls in this. But the hair feels good. It just doesn't, it feels a little bit drier than the Oreo wig. Which is not a big deal because, you know, I have hair products that can help with that. And once again, this has been bleached. Like, heavily bleached. But I like the shade of blonde. I'll just like it better with a dark root. Density's good, no shedding. Density's good for me, but no shedding. But like I said, if you like, if you like thicker hair, you're gonna wanna add some, you're gonna wanna add some tracks to this. Yeah, but you're definitely gonna have to do a bald cap method with this wig because it is blonde. So if you have dark hair like me, you're gonna be able to see your dark hair through your wig. This part right here is a little annoying. I feel like the Oreo wig had more hair on the sides, but that could also be because this is not washed. As I look crazy. <laughs> if you like this video, guys, please give it a big thumbs up. Press the subscribe button down in the description box so you don't miss any more content from me. My eye itches. Share this content because, you know, sharing is caring. And um, I, hope to, uh, I hope to see you in the next video when I have this bad boy put together. <laughs> anyway, guys, I'll see you later. Bye!